so welcome back to my channel today I will be showing you guys how I'm going to be using my new agenda this is actually called a document holder and it's from Miu Miu if you guys seen my last holiday haul you would have seen that I talked about this briefly um, in that haul and showed all the details but I'm super excited about this I'm actually personally not going to be using this as a clutch but I will be using this as a planner a notebook holder and specifically I will be showing you guys how I use it as a um, financial planner and I'm going to be setting up this agenda right here this is a Styology 365 agenda and it is in the size B6 and I will be just doing like little shots of how I set up this agenda so if you guys are interested please keep on watching First off, I wanted to test out what kind of notebook or book would fit into this agenda. Um, as you saw from my haul video, this is actually marketed as a clutch slash document holder. So I wasn't sure exactly what kind of planner would fit. Um, after I did the measurements, I decided to go with the B6 Stayology. I also own a Hobonichi Weeks and that perfectly tucks into that cover as well. So if you have one of those, you can use that as well. But personally, I wanted to make this agenda into my financial tracker for 20 2020. So I'm really excited about this. Um, so the first thing I like to do is I like to number every single page of the 365. This takes a little bit of time, but I like to do this while I'm listening to audiobooks. The next thing I do is since there's 365 pages, I like to divide it up into um, the 12 months but I also like to add um, two extra months in there or I, I divide by 14 um, so that I have a nice notes section in the front cover pages so as you can see I did a little bit math and every time I skip to a new month I just put a little sticky tag to flag off which month it is then to personalize my agenda and to um, give it kind of like a title page, I printed out this honeybee shop, this planner belongs to insert. Um, and I was looking for where to paste it in. I decided I didn't really like all the hang off on the left side. So I just cut that off. So everything is nice and symmetrical. And then I went back into my planner and I was just picking what page to fit it in. And I decided on that first page right there. So to attach the insert, I'm just using some Tombow sticky tape, double-sided tape, and I'm rolling that on very easily, and then I just stick it in. I find this to be the easiest way to paste in anything into agendas. Um, then again, sometimes I do use a old-school glue, glue stick, and that works fine as well. All right, so now I'm just going to decorate the front panel. I'm just using some washi tape I have. I just picked a bunch that I thought the colors were fun, and I'm just pasting that on. The good thing about this is if you get tired of it, you can just rip the washi off and then do a new pattern. But typically, people don't really do that. Um, I'm sticking with this. I think it's a cute pattern. There's only a little bit of color, and yeah, I guess that's fine. Now I'm just writing in hello 2019, goodbye 2020, and then I'm also writing in my monthly highlights this is the same as how i'm setting up my a5 the only difference is in the a5 i'm putting pictures and in the b6 i'm just going to write down monthly highlights then i also wrote down the hundred things to do before 2020 ends healthcare trackers and all of those stuff you can refer to my um, a5 setup for that then i decided for all the months i was going to do a month on one page rather than on two page just to set it up a little bit and this one is going to be like my kind of events tracker and then I have this one as my bill tracker as well, as you can see on the left hand panel. Then I just decided to write in an expense log and this will just mark down the date I purchased items, what items they were, the amount it was, if I use my debit card or credit card or cash. So I'm just writing that out ever so slightly and I am using an erasable pen and that's why I'm super brave and just freehanding lines, which is actually really easy in Astaeology because they have the full boxes. So it's easy to like stay within the lines if you have a steady hand. I did that on two pages as well. And then I just went ahead and did the most satisfying part, which was coloring it in with a gray mild liner. I love this part. I really love the technique of skipping every other line and making it gray. It makes viewing so much easier when you have a full page 
page of words. Then for just a little bit of deco, I used some wrapping paper and I actually got this idea from uh, Bunny Plants, Joyce. Um, she uses like this one from Paper Source, I think, that's like brush strokes. And I was like, oh, that's such an ingenious idea to use um, wrapping paper as um, de deco in the planner because it's a lot cheaper and also you get a lot of bang for your buck. So I'm using this to wrap gifts and stuff and to package Etsy orders, but I guess I'm using it in my agenda as well. I love this so much. I cut it to size and now I'm just tracing it around the cover so I get the exact size. And then obviously you trim it out and then um, to attach it, I just kind of measure it out to make sure there's no hang off. If there is, I usually trim it with scissors. And now that I have the perfect fit, I'm just using my glue stick to attach it into the front cover because I hate that weird gray blue color. It's just like, I don't know, I just don't like that color. So we're covering that up. So there it is, all pasted in. Yeah, so that's basically the initial setup. Um, I'm just moving my sticky note dashboard to the front, but yeah, that's that. That's the setup. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little talk through and more updates to come soon. Set up my actual book, which you guys probably saw the talk through video. Um, what I like to do is just slide it into the wallet slash agenda, the leather cover, and then it fits perfectly. And then on the inside over here, there is a big um, section because this is where actually you could potentially put the front cover in, but I just prefer the front cover closed. But what I actually have here is a cash divider. I got this cash divider from Peanuts Planner Co. And I'm not sure if it's still on her website, but it's just um, really, really useful. It fits at the back of pocket agendas. So if you have a pocket agenda like this with a big pocket at the back, it fits there as well. But for my purposes, it actually fits really well over here in this back compartment and you can still flip through it and see your different um, sections for different things. So since I am using this as a financial planner cover, I thought it would be great to also use my cash dividers in here as well. It also comes with this little pouch right here that is a coin pouch slash card pouch with the card slots inside so I can keep myself very, very organized over here. It also has this big compartment so I can actually fit even more things, but just depends on my mood. And then you just close it like so. So that's how I set up my B6 Stayology in my new leather cover. And since we're talking about using this as a financial planner, if you guys want to save some money on some glasses, to show you guys really quickly, I got these Fermu glasses um, for a dollar. So, so cool. This is how they look like. I chose these ones with a rose gold um, coloring. And then on the side, it actually has some, I don't know if you can see, it has some crystal gems. Very, very soft and delicate looking. Um, and they're very, very lightweight, which is really nice. And I love how like thin the rose gold is around the frames. I also love how it's kind of like a cat eye. So I got these for a dollar off of firmu.com. They're still doing the promotion right now. And if you guys want $1 glasses, please check the link in my description as well. You can click that link to get their promotion for a dollar glasses program. And this is only for one pair of prescription glasses with 1.50 index single vision lens. There's free shipping to the US, but if you're from other parts of the world, you will just be paying for the shipping. And also if you wanted to upgrade the types of glasses in the frames, um, it's additional charge. But they're also doing a buy one, get one free um, promotion. So I would definitely check that out as well. So if you guys are interested, click the link in my description below. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.